Show. Turn up your mind. Tonight, Harriet Hageman has received the most votes in this primary. She won. I called her to concede the race. This primary election is over. But now, the real work begins. Cheney's landslide loss was no surprise. She knew she'd pay a price for voting to impeach Donald Trump and then serving as the vice chair of the January 6th committee. After all, Wyoming is the state Trump won by his biggest margin. No House seat, no office in this land is more important than the principles that we are all sworn to protect. And I well understood the potential political consequences of abiding by my duty. That duty, Cheney said, is standing up to a political force she gravely warned could provoke even more violence than what we saw on January 6th. Our nation is barreling once again towards crisis, lawlessness, and violence. No American should support election deniers for any position of genuine responsibility where their refusal to follow the rule of law will corrupt our future. The victor, Harriet Hegeman, who became the front runner the minute Donald Trump endorsed her. <laughs> she once criticized Trump, but now repeats his lie that the 2020 election was stolen. And when she won, she thanked him. We're all very grateful to President Trump. What will Cheney do next? Will she run for president? She didn't say, but she made it crystal clear on her overall goal. I will do whatever it takes to ensure Donald Trump is never again anywhere near the Oval Office. Uh, well, what? Thank you for your service. Uh, what do you say? It's a Cheney, a Cheney lost a uh, primary. Well, thank you for your service. Uh, today, Rudy Giuliani is uh, probably taking the fifth as we speak in a Fulton County, uh, you know, a grand jury setting. Um, Jenna Ellis has just been subpoenaed to the uh, grand jury in Atlanta as well to testify about lying to the state legislature about massive fraud. Uh, John Eastman has been summoned. Uh, Lindsey Graham is supposed to testi testify on, uh, I think, August 23rd. Uh, Jenna Ellis was is supposed to testify on August 25th. They subpoenaed uh, this Ken Cheeseboro uh, lawyer guy that whose name we would not know if it wasn't for Liz Cheney. And uh, Cleta Mitchell, who was on that freaking phone call uh, the day that Donald Trump uh, tried to extort, shake down, beg, whatever you want to call it, uh, you know, to um, overturn the results of a free and fair election in the state of Georgia. And uh, Liz Cheney gave a concession speech last night, which was really one for the ages. And I'm sitting there going, I, I don't know how to feel. I, uh, how do I feel about this? Uh, you know, a Cheney is gone. Woohoo. Uh, but a uh, Harriet Hageman is in. Please stop voting for crazy people. Please. I mean, these are serious positions. Uh, uh, Wyoming, I, I, I honestly, I know there's less than a million of you. I get that it's a sparsely populated place. But, and you only have the one. You only have the one congressperson because of that. And you decided to get rid of somebody who was the number three ranking Republican in the House of Representatives, meaning she could bring home the bacon, fry it up in a pan, and then wear it as pasties and never let you forget you're a man. I mean, she's got five kids. This woman is like a prolific. And you replaced her with um, somebody that wears 42 pet listen. I, it's a clown show, okay? This, this this is who beat Liz Cheney, this one. Joe Biden is the largest or the most destructive human trafficker in our history. Stop electing crazy people! You understand if you elect a Cheney, you get to die over there. You elect a Trumper, you're going to get to die over here. These people are liars. These people are agitators. These people are, uh, like, I mean, they, 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 they ex incite violence. They say any damn thing that uh, comes into their head. They have no ability to govern. They have no principles. They have no integrity. You know, it's crazy. So this is why I was, you know, kind of torn because bye-bye Cheney's. Hello, Harriet Hegeman. Hello, more Trumpers in the House of Representatives. Um, because it dawned on me watching this speech that Liz gave last night. 
that having integrity or principles, even though I, I disagree with her on every single policy she would spit out a spleen advocating for, everything from banning abortion to, I mean, you, you know, spending uh, every penny we have on defense, lying about uh, going to war and the need to do it, weapons of mass destruction, all that crap, right? That, but in this particular arena where... An attack on our capital, our capital, has got to be addressed at the highest levels of government because at the highest levels of government, lies were told, people were agitated, people were incited to violence. Every single person who showed up and did violence at the Capitol that day said that they believed that Donald Trump wanted them to do that, that Donald Trump asked them to do that, that Donald Trump told them to do that, that they were there on his invitation, right? And on this particular issue of plain old patriotism, not allowing domestic enemies of our government to succeed in overthrowing an election or to succeed in beating police officers or to succeed in breaking and defacing the Capitol or to succeed in smearing feces on the floor and the walls of the Capitol, okay? She has integrity and principles that tell her no matter what office, no matter what I'm running for, no matter what politics, you know, I love this country more than all of that. 